Hello, my name is Colin Riddington and today I'm going to talk to you about my Access Version and References Checker which is an Access add-in. You can obtain this from my website allodogs.co.uk forward slash avc hyphen add-in. Now let me explain the reason why I've actually created this. We regularly get issues as developers where clients or perhaps forum members will report issues with software bugs in access or perhaps bugs in your applications. And one of the first things we need to do is to ask them what version of access windows and office they're using and what bitness they have. Trouble is for many people finding that information is not easy. Microsoft hasn't made life easy by putting in a simple place that they can just export it to a text file or put into an email. And the idea is to actually find a way of doing this more easily, especially for inexperienced users. So where does the information actually found? Well, there's two things. First of all, Windows version information is in Windows settings. You go from there to System, About, and you will see this screen. And at least with this screen, there is a Copy button on there, so that you can copy that and paste that into another, into another application. For Access, it's more difficult. You go to File, Account, and then about access and you'll see a screen like this with tiny tiny writing at the top no copy button and while it is physically possible to highlight that and copy it and paste it into another device it's for people actually who are suffering problems that's not the sort of thing they're going to want to do unfortunately there is no easy way of getting all of that information some of it you can get from VBA but not all of it so what I've done is I've created a better solution and I've got a form with two tabs, one of which has the version info, workstation name, Windows version, full details, the actual name of the Windows version you've got, plus the build and, and the bitness, the access version, same again, where it's actually installed, whether you've got Office 365 or not, whether it's clicked to run or the older MSI method, and if you are on a more modern version of Access, then which update channel are you using and have you got that switched on or not? And that information can be collected in just a few seconds. On the second tab, it will give you a list of references for the application that is hosting the add-in, and I'll show you how you use the add-in next. So, the features of this are as follows. It's a free access add-in and it's designed to help both developers and end users. The idea is by making an add-in you can install it once on your machine and use it with any access application. It shows, as you've just seen, full details of installed access, office and Windows versions, plus a list of installed VBA references. And if any of those are missing or broken, it will indicate that and you are able to save the version the reference info to text files so you can then include that in an email for example or alternatively you can copy it to a clipboard and paste it into a document of your choice whichever you prefer now because it's an add-in I'm going to open an access database and I've actually got this on the file backstage file menu here and I'll just show you here then I can get to the about access as I just showed you there, like that. But it's not obvious to new users. Some information here, but not all of it. For example, the obvious thing of bitness is missing. Anyway, let's go back. I've got a, an application. It doesn't matter actually what that application is, because as I said, the idea is I'm actually going to just use that as a host for my add-in. And once you've installed the add-in then, to get to it, you go to Database Tools, Add-ins, and if it's already installed then you just click on it on the list here access version checker and after a second or so you will see the information has appeared now it's it's the same information as I used in that screen grab earlier so it's fairly easy to see there and when it actually loads it will check whether the information is up to date or not if not then it will prompt you to update that but you can do that yourself quite easily let me just show you live how long that takes so click on that it clears the previous information it's now looking 
various places on the system here using VBA calls, using registry calls and in one case it's actually using an internet connection to get the Office 365 information online and you saw that took about 10 seconds on my 12 year old PC on a more modern and more powerful PC it will be faster especially if you've got a fast internet connection which I haven't so the information now we know it's up to date but as I said when the program loads or when the add-in loads it will just check whether the information is stored in a table is actually the correct version information for both Access and Windows and if not it will prompt you to update that. Okay so I can then save that information as a text file and have a look at that now and it's on the other screen here drag it across there and you can see I've got the version information from that particular form there. I can also copy to clipboard I'll do that in a minute. Let's go to the other screen then and here's the list of VBA references for the database that I've got open at the moment. Not for my add-in, for the host database there. And I've got six references in this case, none of which are broken. Again I can save that as a text file. And in this case I get a lot more detail appearing on the screen for each one of those references. Something you can't see in the VBA references window and now I can copy to clipboard. Now if I click it on either of these two forms here it will then copy both the information from the references screen and the version info. So I'll copy that to clipboard now and having done that I can now open any other document. For example I can open an email now just paste it in and you can see then version info and reference info. So the idea is that then that could be posted to me by a client for me to actually try and use that to investigate what the problems are with the application and whether it's actually a problem with my application or with Windows or Access. If I was a forum member I could then post that with my question and again it would save an awful lot of time. So if we just come out of that and close Outlook and now I've shown you everything there is to this it's very simple you can see the idea then is actually just easily accessible for any app access application and it shows you on my website how you actually install that but if we now just come out of this then close that come out of access and go back to PowerPoint in then and let's go on to the next screen on my website then you will find a page like this and as I said that's the site that you actually want to go to and if I click on that now and you can see then the same screens as you've seen already but more importantly it gives you full detailed instructions of how to actually install that as an add-in and it's very simple to do but I've gone through it in some detail there. You've got because it's an ACCDE file behind it all here you can't see the code so I've given you both a 32-bit and a 64-bit version and they will work in anything from Access 2010 onwards. Okay that's it for today Thanks for watching. If you found it useful, as always, please add a like, leave a comment, do subscribe, and then you'll be notified of any future videos as they're uploaded, and suggest topics for future videos in this series. And one further reminder then, to download this, go to isleofdogs.co.uk abc-add-in. Thanks again, I'll see you soon.